and welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga 2. Last time, our trio of heroes made it into the real world, and they found out that's kind of a dump. Now they need to get on out of here and find Cielo and Heat, as they are M.I.A. And to do that, the child, Fred, he has said that maybe talking to Roland will help us find our friends. Roland seems to be fighting against the Karma Society, who is hunting down our characters at the moment, deeming them to be ghosts. Though they do not seem to have made the connection between them and the junkyard, they apparently know who the Embryon are, but they don't seem to believe our claim that we are them. Argilla is quite aggressive right now, and she does have a point. Hmm. I guess these guys are hoping we'll uh, lead them to some sort of smoke out. And here is a new thing to this game. We can run into enemies in their human form. Humans have a couple of distinctions about them from regular uh, demon enemies. One is that their basic attack is actually a gun type attack, and that is actually a weakness of humans. So if uh, that guy was to shoot Argilla, that would have triggered a weakness and given him an extra press turn. Uh, another additional thing they can do is throw out uh, multi-targeting elemental items, which is quite annoying if they decide to spam those. And then finally, the most annoying thing about them is that you cannot use hunt skills on them, and they do not give any AP upon defeat. You will quickly come to loathe running into human enemies, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Noting that uh, he's not doing too well against us, he switches into Pabblesag, and Pabblesag is weak to Earth, so we will pelt him with some Earth Shots. Generally, Earth Shot is only worth using if the enemy is actually weak to Earth. As you can see, he's frightened, but we do not have any hunt skills at the moment. Even if we did, our uh, mantras would be maxed out, so there is no point in hunting him. Let's just blast him down with Earth Shots. Now, since we're uh, on the topic of combos here, uh, as we are using them, I figured I should mention that combos in this game, uh, I will actually probably be using those a lot more than I did in Digital Devil Saga 1, for reasons that will become apparent when I can actually use some of the fancier ones. For right now, Earthshot, I'm just primarily using that because it's not too much worse than, uh, or, yeah, it's not too much worse than uh, just having Argilla, when she has it, use Terra as a single action. Hmm. Looks like our characters have finally noticed the elephant in the room that they lost about 75 levels from the last game. Going off the file imported, they lost a whopping 98. Now I haven't mentioned too much about import bonuses. Uh, I was going to mention some of them in the previous video, but I just didn't get a chance to, it, to do it because I was too focused on other things. But there are various bonuses that we get for importing our file, and uh, they are quite substantial in some parts. Some of them are relatively minor. Uh, a lot of them are tied to defeating bonus bosses, but there is one side quest that's tied to talking to a specific NPC in the previous game, and there are a couple of extra skills that we can get due to uh, this being an imported file, and those skills are actually pretty nice. Alright, let's continue on our way. Looks like we got another set of guys here. Now, before we head on, we want to head west first. Because, in here, we got another treasure chest. This one... Oh, a few rations for us. Don't be afraid to use these if uh, your HP is getting low. Uh, we have pretty limited MP at this point, so having Argilla heal up all our wounds can dry her pretty quickly. Then again, it's not that it matters too much, since she doesn't have Terra at this point. Hey, it's this lady. Ah, it's a trap. Should have seen that coming. Well, we got some more uh, bugaboo guys. But not too threatening, really. Let's see. Just thinking about how I want to approach this. Yeah, they're resistant to ice. And they're also resistant to physical. How about this? Let's uh, do an Earth Shot on one. And we'll Zan the other, and let's see where that leaves us. Yeah, don't have any kind of multi targeting but I can at least take this guy out. And then let's just uh, hit auto and rush this guy down. There we go, not too bad. 
already in a situation where it'd be a good idea to use some of those rations. Let's see, here they are. As you can see, we started with a little bit of them to start with. Well, we saved you, lady. Yeah, totally. Alright, we'll leave you to it. Try not to get into any random encounters on the way out. Alrighty. Quapo here, she is weak to ice, so we'll just nail her with that. Now, compared to uh, Digital Devil Saga 1, I uh, edited out the encounters a lot, which uh, I'm not sure if I did that uh, in situations where it always would have been necessary. I I'm going to probably leave more encounters in, in this game just so I can talk more about battle if I can think of anything relevant. And especially if it's just a really short encounter and I can uh, blitz through it while I'm talking, I probably will just keep going on that. We've got another intersection here, the Kelpie. Let's just take these guys out. A lot of the fights in here, of course, this is the beginning of the game. Fairly easy, we can just blow through them. Have uh, Gale nail this guy with Xan. There we go. Believe me, fights will get a lot tougher uh, in the near future. Yeah, since we're playing on hard mode, there are many dangerous encounters in this game, especially when the enemies get to go first. And uh, I will definitely be looking to, as best I can, modify my skill sets to account for those situations. Hmm, missing a typo on my list here. I had that list as Chakra Drop X3, it was X2. Ooh, another new enemy here, Alps. And they are not weak to anything, though they do nullify Earth. They also aren't resistant to anything, so uh, hey, that'll take care of that one. And Freeze, same as it was in the previous game. Just uh, makes the enemy lose any physical resistance they have, and always be critically struck. It also uh, makes them considerably more vulnerable to physical attacks on top of that, practically creating a weakness. And I do mean that it's just like bonus damage independent of their normal physical resistance. Alright, we got a bit of a branching path here, and we can talk to our whole party, plus Fred, plus his friend whose name I don't remember. Yeah, Gale is referencing this doorway, which will take us up to the surface, which we'll do that in a bit. Maybe his name is Fred's friend. Cuvier Syndrome, huh? Huh. Well, that's a question. Uh, try not to knock any of them over. Unfortunately, I think that guy that Surf took the gun from in the intro is quite dead. Would seem that way. Oh, believe me, you don't want to be jealous of this, Fred. Ah, so it looks like Argilla started out here. Probably explains why she ran into Fred when she did. Alright, but let's check it out. This stairway right here will take us all the way up to the surface. You do also want to remember this area for much later in the game, as this is tied to a side quest, but we'll get there when we get there. But as you can see, the Black Sun. If you may remember in uh, one of my last videos from the previous Let's Play, Black Sun was actually a combo skill, the strongest combo skill in the game. Hmm. You know, they have special glasses for that, Argilla. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, turning out to be less than what was advertised. Yeah, what is the deal with that? Mm, pretty safe to say a lot of these people with the crumbling bodies are dead. Uh, nothing to be done for them now. There's no treasure up here. This is just, for right now, just to check it out for the sake of it. Alright, let's get back on our journey out through the occupied sector. I already uh, hit the recovery point, didn't I? Yes, I did. I also wasted a bunch of rations before we got here, but oh well. I'd never use them anyway. I, I fairly seldom use the healing items in this uh, game. Yeah, I'm referencing that word tuning again. They called us tuners, so I guess we've pretty safely established that's their uh, jargon for people who can utilize at and power. We'll do our best, Fred, we'll do our best. Unfortunately, the Karma Society kind of has the advantage here. Alright, another weak bit of enemies here. The next... Oof, Dream Haze. Ah, that's unfortunate. Although, not the end of the world, since Argilla can't really contribute much in this fight anyway. 
But yeah, the next treasure we want is, uh, oh, actually, very fortunate. Sleep in this game, much like it did in Nocturne, when your turn is over, you regain some HP and MP while under the sleep status. I wouldn't necessarily say that's worth letting yourself be inflicted with sleep, but at least it's a nice little uh, thing to mitigate some of the undesirable effects of it. Alright, let's get in here. This actually has a pretty important treasure. Now, of course, we have regular treasure chests for standard items, but we have the yellow nodes for the special items. In this case, much like the previous game, uh, ammo can be within the yellow nodes. So, let's uh, equip that shot shell onto Argilla. I'll double her shot power and give her much better earth shots. Very handy at this point in the game. After a while, I will definitely uh, take the uh, human form skill off of Argilla. I'm just using it right now because Earth Shot is one of our better options for dealing damage. But obviously, that's going to be of limited use <laughs> in the future because the human form can't do too much. Of course, a lot of passives uh, work for the human form, but they're not all the ones you'd expect to, which we, that actually will become relevant later. That's not just a throwaway comment that I'm making. All right, Earth Spirit there. We are definitely going to want to set Terra onto her, so that she can utilize that. As a matter of fact, uh, we're never going to use Patch, we're never going to use Analyze. we going to set Void Earth on there for something I may be doing for the boss fight of this area, but we'll see. Hmm. Not likely. Oh, they got hostages. That is a bit more concerning. Is there anything that we can do about that? Well, we'll find out. Got our next small terminal and our first bit of editing. Yeah, it did not feel like uh, including that encounter since it took me multiple turns to finish it. Probably going to be my criteria, and I think I'm a pretty good judge of when that'll be the case. Do have to be mindful of my save slots here because I do not want to spoil anything for later in the game. I suppose I could copy my files onto a separate memory card and then just wipe them from this one, but uh, effort. <laughs> uh making things harder on myself just to save myself a little effort in a different area. I can be like that sometimes. Hmm. Yeah, we can't let that happen. Come on, let's bust in there and save that guy. As soon as we get done with this random encounter. Now, uh, there is actually multiple paths that you can take into the room up here. Oh, that was lucky. But we're just going to take the one straight here, because there is not any benefit to taking the other one, and, uh, well, we're gonna, we're just gonna get into why that is right now. Oh, whoops, no, that's the other door. Silly me. Here we go, we wanted this one. Strong presence behind the door, but I'm not too worried about him. Alright, let him go, buddy. Oh, not like that. Oh. I hope he's okay. You just knocked the wind out of him, right? <laughs> well, uh... I can't really say anything. It would be spoilers. I don't want to ruin the plot before we get to it. Oh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Well, well, what the heck. I'll use Panacea on her. Just so she can pass her turn immediately to Gale. Alright, yeah, then we can just finish him off. I, I probably could have had her take the shot there. I just wasn't sure uh, how much damage Gale would have been able to deal to that guy. Almost got Devourer maxed out, though I probably will not set anything on there since, uh, well, hunting is pretty useless at this point. But, yeah, unfortunately, this guy... Yeah. And, no, there is no way you can save that guy. The other door we took, it wraps around to this door right here. But uh, if you took that route, he just gets tossed anyway. And uh, you cannot leave this area without at least attempting to save him. Argilla will just stop you. Oh, well, here's... Yeah, now here's where uh, humans start to get pretty annoying. And we do not get any AP for defeating any of these guys. Rather frustrating. But yeah, once you get into uh, hunting to try and build up your mantras, you will quickly come to loathe to running into human encounters. It's just such a waste of your time. They can transform like Pablesag did, but 
Unless they get the first go, I'll likely kill them before they even get a chance to. Oh, also they can do all sorts of annoying things like use medkits to restore themselves and make the fights go even longer if you aren't able to kill them right away. That was a fairly benign encounter since it's not like we can get any uh, new mantras at this point anyway. But still, you, you see what I mean. And we'll just tear through this Kelpie. Honestly, you can probably just do normal attacks to take this guy out. Nothing too complicated at this point, especially when it's just one enemy. Okay, heading through here. I want to take the eastern route. And behind this little catacorner is a healing light. And... An ice blast, very nice. Well, two ice blasts, as a matter of fact. Can do some good damage with those. Alright, heading on. Anything that way? No, just a dead end. Oh, hey, two Akusas. Yep, you can run into them right away. We'll take that guy down a peg. Have Gale weaken this guy. Might actually... Nope, couldn't kill him outright. But it should put him in range for Argella to just blast him to death. Yeah, bullets pretty weak in this game. Uh, you can only really do serious damage with guns if they either crit or you're using a gun skill. But of course, gun skills are not very efficient towards the action economy. And Surf is doing quite well on his magic already. I was hoping for another point of magic there. The sooner we can cap magic, the better. For reasons. Hmm. Calling for backup? I do not think it'll help you guys. Alright, yeah, got another Andras over there. What am I doing? We can just Earthshot this guy. You know what? What the heck, another Earth shot. Xan will take this guy out uh, either way. Nice. The shot shell, we're doing some pretty good damage here. Now we've got Tarask, but uh, he is also weak to Earth, so this is not going to end well for him. But yeah, he's, as you can see, even just uh, doubling, uh, going from 8 to 16 power, that's uh, increased Earth shot's damage by quite a bit, so now it's definitely a worthwhile investment over Terra. Downside is, of course, uh, it does not scale in power quite as well as uh, Terra does. Although I think, uh, hmm, you know, I've never really tested it. Hmm. Oh, that's a question for later. Not, I'm not going to be using human form past this point, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, my instructions for finding the items are not always immaculate doing a very pragmatic item list when writing this up. But, in this one, we can get some revival beads. Probably will not use those too often, but they're handy in a pinch. Of course, the best way to deal with random encounters is to just uh, not let yourself get in situations where uh, your allies get killed. And fortunately, I have enough foreknowledge to mostly be able to prevent that. Of course, uh, with Surf's uh, fairly low vitality, uh, how it's going to be throughout the rest of this game, really, uh, there is definitely a serious risk that he might get tagged with death, as long as the enemy is using physical attacks. So against magic attacks, of course, he's going to be quite well covered. Now, in this room here, we got another treasure. And a pretty handy one at this point in the game. Medical kits. It'll be a little bit before we get Medea, so uh, it could potentially come in useful. And even then, uh, if I have somebody, even if I have Medea on one character, it'll be handy to, for use by a character who does not have it. And this is going to be a longer than usual encounter, but I was already mid-sentence, so may as well play it out. Come on, Gale, you can finish this guy off. Yep, alright. And we'll just nail this guy with another Earth shot and call it a day. Good night, Gracie. Alrighty. What more do we have coming our way? Plenty of things, plenty of things. Let's see. Alright. What do we want to do? Well, actually, I'm, I'm going the completely the wrong way here. Alright, let's just zan this guy down. 
All right, we want to double back real quick and just head up uh, this way before going up that ladder. And we've got a pretty good treasure here over in here, tucked away in the corner where you can't really see. Got a Soma Drop, pretty handy in this game. Don't get too, too many of those. Definitely it'll help to use them wisely. Actually got fairly lucky there and had an encounter against three humans, but managed to kill them before they got to do anything. Yeah, the encounter rate in this game is fairly erratic. Sometimes you'll go a uh, considerable distance without running into any, and sometimes, like the first game, you'll just get them near constantly. As I was saying, but hey, we can run into Tarask in regular battles now. terra S Tarask. Uh, that's just one of those weird words for me to say. Terrasc. He's a giant turtle, okay? He's weak to earth shot. We're just gonna blast him down with earth shot. And we are actually in the end of this area, more or less. We got our next save terminal over there, which we'll quickly do that. And beyond that doorway is the boss for this area. First, though, we just want to dip into the side room, because as you guessed, we have treasure in here. And some pretty decent useful stuff here. Decently useful stuff in here. Want to get my sentences grammatically correct here. Got a revival gem, always handy. And back in the other corner of the room, and we're just going to earth shot these guys to death. As you can see, this is a lot more impressive damage than a Heat's Flame Shot from previous game, though it lacks the multi-targeting utility. Honestly making it probably less useful overall, but, you know, that's how it goes. And back here. And get a Sonic Stone. I'm sure I'll find uh, use for that at some point. Alright, next order of business. Just want to hit the save terminal here. And, hey, let's cap this video off with an exciting boss fight. Plus, you know, cutscenes. This game is a lot more plot-heavy than the previous one was, so uh, get ready for that. But no need for special preparations going into this fight, since, well, we don't have many we could make anyway. Let's head on in. See what they got waiting for us beyond that door. Oh, I'm always ready for a strong presence. Hey, freak! I'll tear those tusks right off your face! What he said! Those brats! Capture them! Get, get him, sir! Get him! Yeah, get him! Huh, what a funny kid. He reminds me of Cielo. You know, I can't help but feel like we're being used a little bit here, but at the same time, we gotta get past these guys. Alright, so we got the two Androsses here. Uh, the Vetala in the middle there, he is weak to force, but the Androsses will cast a uh, Force Shield to try and stave that off. So we're gonna use Earth Shots to take these guys down pretty quickly. Yeah, we'll uh, do a mad rush here, see if we can get some damage in on everyone. Hm, make sure he was able to survive that. We'll uh, finish him off. Alright. Vetala himself is just a physical bruiser, uh, but he does have one trick that he can use, which we'll be seeing, well, soon enough. Soon enough. Now, we'll keep blasting these guys with Earth Shot. And this time around, we'll just uh, do another Earth Shot to finish this guy. Oh! He's already dead. Oh, that's actually pretty handy right there. Let me see. I'm gonna use a ration on Surf real quick since that guy has anti force up anyway. And we'll just tag him with the Bufu. Now, what, now that the Androsses are dead, we actually want Argilla to revert to demon form. We'll uh, have her transform real quick. Say revert, but really it's a transformation. And, oh hey, Micronova. Yeah, it uh, uses Xan instead of Agi this time. However, we're actually going to have Gale revert because, well, since uh, we had an 
a Earth Elemental shop when uh, teaming up with Argilla. Obviously, we'll have a Force Elemental one when teaming up with Gale, since that's his element. Now, this guy mind charges, and this upcoming turn, nah, Mabu food not important. Well, first off, we're gonna use Wind Shot. Let's just see how much damage that does. I've never actually tried using this on this guy. Not too bad. We want to use Void Earth. Very important that you use Void Earth there, especially since he got that mind charge up. I typically don't like using Void skills in this game because I feel like they're kind of cheesy, but in this case, it's definitely the intended way you are meant to get through this fight. But, yep, the fury of his body, Terra Burst, but we just completely shield that. Yeah, all right, let's wind shot this guy. Windshot will probably deal considerably more damage than Xan if it hits twice, but that is if it hits twice. It is a random hit skill, and against a single target, it most again hit is twice. We're getting pretty lucky on that. Definitely want to pair with Surf for that one since his magic contributes to the damage, and he has considerably higher magic than Argilla does. Ah, I'm not too threatened by you, buddy. Haha. <laughs> Especially when you miss like that. Hmm, Gale's uh, MP is getting rather low. We should have enough to finish him off with these final wind shots, though. Yeah, alright, one more should do it. Come on, Surf, let's knock this one out of the park. There we go. Boss defeated. Overall, very simple fight. Just uh, remember to cast Void Earth when he mind charges, and you are good. And, of course, a smattering of level-ups here, though sadly not one for Surf. A little head there. Hey, what's that? Hey, stay back! <gasps> it's Fred! He must have beat those Karma Society guys! That's not possible! It's our secret signal! It has to be him! Now open the stupid gate! <laughs> through eventually. Open it! Thanks to us, you can go back to sitting on your asses all day. Look at them. Think they're with the guy we captured? Excuse me. Would you happen to know Cielo? You know Cielo? I do. He's safe with us. I'm Roland of Locapala. Welcome. All right, well, that is the leader of Locapala, Roland, and it looks like he has Cielo. Hmm. I have a feeling he's gonna lead us into a negotiation. And we are in the underground city now. As you can see, Fred's friend is over there. Looks like uh, Roland must be deeper in. What, are your, what is your take on this, Argilla? Yeah, definitely. 
I mean, I wasn't able to just throw out death flies and finish all those encounters right away. Hmm. Now that you mention it... Yeah, exactly. Hmm, that's a good way of thinking about it. <sighs> so many unanswered questions. If this is the real world, what the heck is the junkyard? Well, it's a small terminal, small child. Hmm. Well, we certainly won't object to having a facility we can use to save our progress here. Hmm. India, Guardians of the Gods. Uh, that's a that's a pretty awesome title, I will say. But we also have a healing light here, and as long as you're in the underground city, you can completely recover yourself for free. Kind of a minor thing, but if you're uh, in between dungeons, may as well swing by back here and just fully heal yourself. But the more relevant thing for us is the small karma terminal, because this video has been running a little long. So we'll just save our progress here and call it a video. Next time, we'll have to uh, talk to Roland and see if we can get some answers for what's going on here, and also see if we can get Cielo back. But we'll have to save that until the next video. As always, hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you then. Until then, goodbye.